So I just got done completing the entire Oregon Ducks player exclusive set of eights right here. And I'm excited to show you guys my new pickups. And in today's video, I'll be breaking down all the different details from these shoes. And if you guys want to see more in-depth videos per shoe, I can definitely give you more videos in the future as well. But for now, we're going to kind of go through the little details of everything and talk about the sneakers, talk about the drops, the numbers, how limited they were, the resale prices, the whole process. And then at the end of the video, we'll also talk about just overall, which pair is the best, who likes what. I posted some polls on Instagram to see the results with everybody else's opinions and i would love to hear yours down below in the comment section as well but with all that being said let's go ahead and start talking about these shoes starting off with the first one right here we have the oregon ducks air jordan 8 pe this was a part of the drop x release that they did on StockX. so basically they did an auction and they said hey we're gonna have x amount of pairs available from there we'll let you know what's how much per size and all the different stuff and you know me being a size 12 and a half and 13 there was only like maybe 15 pairs or something like that available in my size because it's always rough when it comes to my size in particular because everybody knows the struggles of being that <laughs> being the bigger foot type of people it's just it's rough in the game but either way it was a very limited drop to say the least and it's a pe drop the players got the shoes as well but instead of the players reselling their sneakers and making their money and with all the new rules with the nil and stuff and everything they made it easier they decided to team up with division street division street made the shoe possible with tinker and nike and everything that's all ran through there they designed the shoes then they created extra pairs that would be available for the public to auction off and then all the money that was made from that auction would then go back to the players now they were able to keep the shoes and then still be able to make some money as players in the nil deal and all the different stuff like that so the concept of it to me was super dope because now the players don't have to worry about shelling off their shoes to make a little bit of extra money if they're struggling financially and different things like that so i did love that aspect a lot when it came to just putting the whole thing together a lot of people were kind of tripping a little bit when they saw that it was through StockX, which was definitely very interesting at the time and then what made it even more interesting interesting was they decided to drop these two on the goat app which we'll get to in a second but let's go ahead and go back to the first drop right here now you got the two-tone upper the gray and the white you got the different perforated dots all around the leathers and then you got the black plastic piece on the back all just one solid piece the leather straps the different accents i made a full review on this sneaker in the past if you want to check it out i'll probably have a link for you at the bottom of this description or somewhere after the end of this video but one of the things that I really loved about this shoe in particular was this was the first Air Jordan Oregon Ducks PE that represented it with a black duck on there. And it was dope to see that for representing, you know, the African-American players because I know they play a heavy role in a lot of this stuff when it comes to athletics and everything. So to see that as well, I thought was a really nice touch. And that was another reason why I had kind of fell in love with this shoe even more. So now when it comes to the first pair, I actually wasn't able to get these through the StockX drop. I ended up bidding and it was just way higher than I expected. And I ended up getting a mystery box and shout out to soul stills they hooked me up on that one they ended up putting a pair in there for me size 12 and a half i'm a happy camper i can fit them they fit great and i'm excited to be able to wear these maybe go to an oregon ducks game or something like that this year and have a good time so who knows what game it'll be or what pair of shoes i'll wear because i got a bunch of different oregon pe's as well but either way excited to have those in my collection then some months go by and next thing you know we see this just pop up out of nowhere in two different colorways, which really everybody saw this black and green one first because Khaled had posted this and everybody was like, what is that? Oh my gosh, those are ugly. That was a lot of, I mean, honestly, that was my response too when I first saw them. I'm like, that was the best they could do? Like, are you kidding me? And it's actually crazy because as I hold these in hand, I started to realize like, yes, this is still a wild colorway. This is definitely a very interesting sneaker, but these look a lot better in person than I thought they would based off of the materials and the small details and all the aspects on this shoe. So I had a little bit more appreciation for this sneaker than I thought I would uh, coming into it. But I definitely knew like this was something that I wanted to kind of complete the set with. So I was like, I'm going after him either way. So basically with these two drops right here, you got the white and gray pair. And then this pair, it's got a different set of materials. I was looking at the drop and I'm like, okay, what's going on? How many pairs are gonna be available? Da, 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 whoop, whoop. So they ended up doing 200 pairs of the green and blacks. They did 200 pairs of the gray and whites. So that means what, you know, size 12 and a half, 13 is gonna be rough to get them in my size simply because if you got the bigger foot, you know when it comes to any release, there's always very minimal amounts of pairs when it comes to 13, 14, 15, different things. like, And it gets worse when you're a size 15. I completely understand if, you, if you're a size 15 in the comment section, oh, I, I, I know my struggle as a 13 and a 14 grabbing that stuff from my dad. So 
I can feel for you. I feel your pain. I'm so sorry because it's rough out here. But I saw that and I was like, okay, let me put my bid in. I actually ended up bidding on these ones and I was like, well, okay, the first one was going for like $3,500, $4,000. And as soon as they announced these, the price went down and now they're like $2,800, $3,200. And then there's a white one that looks similar to this white one. So does that mean that this price is gonna go down even more or are these gonna be worth less than those? And I just started to kind of think about it and I was like, well, this one's different than those. So these might be worth more than both of these because of that, all the different factors. And I said, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bid 1500 bucks per shoe. So I did a bid at $1,500 on 12 and a half, both colors. And then I did $1,500 at um, 13, both colors. So if I would have won, I would have had to pay $6,000 and I would have got four pairs of shoes. But it was actually crazy because a lot of people sleep on the 12 and a half. That's, that's the best thing about it. Like you see everybody go after the 13, they forget about the 12 and a half and they sleep on it. So next thing you know, I go on there, I look at the bids, I see all this stuff and I ended up hitting and I got a 12 and a half and one. I was like, ooh, I wonder if I'm gonna get 12 and a half or 13 and the other or if I'm gonna hit the other one, I gotta pay extra or whatever. You know, all the different possible scenarios, right? And then I get another notification say, hey, you hit another 12 and a half right here. So I got one of each color. I didn't hit either one of the 13s. And then I got the shoes in the mail about a week later. They came actually pretty quick. And now I got all the shoes right here. So that's kind of like how I went about getting the shoes and all the different stuff like that. I think overall, uh, the out-of-pocket cost for the shoes and then the potential you know value of the sneakers later and everything i think is a really good point immediately after these uh were sold and then i got them and then i looked on the app like i think a couple days ago actually we can look right now because i know there is like another size on there so right here there was a pair that was available before when it comes to the green and black pair right now there's a size 11 somebody's asking 4400 dollars again i got mine for 1300 1500 bucks uh, I didn't get the size 13, I got the 12 and a half. And then the white pair, there is a 12 and a half that somebody's asking $2,200. So immediately right there, as you can see, I feel like 1500 bucks was a solid price, especially to say that I was able to grab a PE for that price, a Oregon Ducks PE, something that I really love and something that I want to have, you know, complete my set with all the other PEs of the, the threes and the fives and the sixes and all the other PEs that I got uh, in my collection. So for me, being from here, loving the Oregon Ducks and all those things, it just definitely made sense. It was something that I want to have in my collection. And again, I hope you guys are enjoying these B-roll clips of me, you know, showing the in-hand looks at all the different shoes and you're kind of able to see the different details and differences. Each shoe has slight similarities when it comes to some of the materials, but then also differences when it comes to not only the materials, but the overall presentation with the color blocking and everything like that so yeah you got similar things right here with the lock area but these are gonna have the green leather straps and that's got the black end on the back end but as you can see a lot of differences so now this is kind of brings the next question of like which one do I like most and originally when I saw these I was like they're cool you know what I'm saying they're all right but like there's better apes out there and then I was like okay well they're dropping these two are these the best ones out of the three out of the whole set they just might be. And I'm like, these are growing on me, that's cool. This is like more of a lighter version of those, but I'm not sure. So I kind of wanted to ask that poll and see what everybody else thinks. So again, drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. But right now I'm thinking these might be my favorite, these might be second and these might be third uh, in my opinion. Now let's take it to the poll. Uh, that I posted on my Instagram and see what everybody's talking about on there. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel. Basically, I ask people to question, rank it one, two, three, and then, you know, see the ranking. So let's let's uh, get this screenshot, share the results, save it. All right, here we go. So we got 48% choosing the first one, 38% choosing the second one, and 13%, oh yeah, well, that's about the same thing I was thinking right there. So <laughs> I kind of ranked them in that order, but how I was thinking based off of what I liked. But as of right now, the Stock X one uh, is everybody's favorite. I know these are fresh, you know, new to the game, but I think overall, at the end of the day, a lot of PE collectors, I've talked to a lot of PE collectors, they were able to grab pairs for their collections as well. And they all had that same kind of prediction. I saw a lot of people were able to get pairs from, you know, $1,000 to 1800 bucks, $2,000 per pair. We've all been kind of thinking about it and talking about it. And we think that, you know, these are gonna be, 
you know, three or $4,000 PEs down the line. And then we're going to be like happy that we spent that, you know, a thousand bucks, 1200 bucks, 1500 bucks, whatever it was that we spent on the sneakers when we got them. So overall, I'm a happy camper. I'm happy with the purchase and I'm excited to be able to show you guys this and complete the whole set. And I don't know who else on the internet has completed the whole set. I'm sure there's a bunch of people out there that are not too hard to obtain. So it definitely does make sense why there will be a bunch of people that would complete this set. But, um, Hopefully I can give you guys that first review that you guys ever seen on the internet with the whole set together. And I appreciate you as always. If you want to see other stuff like this or in-depth reviews for any of these sneakers, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll make sure I get those full individual videos out for you guys as well. So you guys can see every little detail of the shoe. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Oregon Ducks Jordan PE of all time. I might go with the Black Football 4s. Oh no, it's something about those, man. Those set the tone.